Daniel Bryan faced Roman Reigns in the main event of SmackDown. If Bryan won, he would become Universal Champion and be the first to defeat Reigns since his return at SummerSlam last year. However, if he lost, he would have to leave SmackDown forever, and unfortunately, that's what happened. This is Wrestling Up Near 5 Reasons Why Bryan Lost His Match Against Reigns on SmackDown. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Hub and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with everything in the world of pro wrestling. Brian has talked about wanting to take on a backstage creative role in WWE. Already, he has taken a step back from his in-ring responsibilities, working with younger stars to build them. So yeah, there is something to that. The idea of helping people and from a human perspective, we all want that. For a long time, when you're young, you're like, I want to achieve this, I want to achieve this. But as you get older, it's like, I want to help here, I want to help there. And it's just a different perspective. Over the last few months, Brian may not have won too many major matches, but every match he's been a part of has been important. It's easy to see that Brian has earned every opportunity he has received, but now he could help build other stars behind the scenes using his ample store of wrestling knowledge. The loss will help to write him off TV and give him the excuse that he needs to work backstage instead of appearing regularly on TV again. Daniel Bryan's career in wrestling has not been incident-free. He's been on the receiving end of multiple concussions. At one point, his injuries were so severe as thought he would have to retire and never be able to wrestle again. But his rehabilitation helped him overcome this. He is now back in the ring and doing what he loves, but there might be a limit. The injuries he suffered have not just disappeared. He is also a family man with two kids, and this gives him a chance to take time off. Since his return at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns has looked unstoppable. His underhanded tactics and alliance with Paul Heyman has led to WWE fans finally getting the Reigns they wanted to hate all along. Daniel Bryan is a fan favorite underdog on the other hand. Going into the match against Reigns, he was the underdog yet again. As a result, with the added stipulation that Bryan would be leaving SmackDown if he lost, fans were firmly behind him. Reigns choking out Daniel will bring out nuclear heat for the Tribal Chief. Brian has made clear he intends to continue wrestling for a long time. However, his contract with WWE is coming up and he wants to sign a part-time deal. WWE has been great, they are going to give me six weeks paternity leave. I get to go home that first six weeks, but then after that it's not long until my contract is up. In my mind, I think I'm just done being a full-time wrestler. I will always love wrestling and I always will want to do wrestling, but when I say always do wrestling, that means once a month, more once every couple of months. This match gives WWE the out they need to get Brian off TV while they decide what What's next? Daniel Bryan has done everything he could do on SmackDown and this could be the perfect chance for him to go to Raw. According to Meltzer, he could even go to NXT. The obvious thought would be he can go to Raw or possibly NXT. There is an aspect of NXT in the sense Bryan would have a better opportunity to do the style of matches he wants with people he can have those kinds of matches with, especially on TV where he would be the most valuable commodity they have. WWE has been looking to make NXT bigger and adding Bryan would go a long way. The younger wrestlers would have his guidance and work with him in the ring. This match to write him off SmackDown could thus be the perfect move for Bryan. And these were reasons why Daniel Bryan was removed from the SmackDown roster. Hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.